Well, welcome Odyssey 12th graders to math applications and Odyssey 11th graders to fundamental math concepts. Now even though the names are different, the classes are the same and as you can see on your screen we have the math applications up. The uh, math concepts is exactly the same. And we're going to walk our way through this. The idea of the class, the purpose of the class, is to prepare the students for the proficiency test by uh, practicing test taking strategies and discussing test topics in math that will be on the test. If you're an AM student, you have Mr. Robert Barnett as an instructor. If you're a PM student, you have Mr. John Turner as an instructor. As you can see, there are announcements here at the top. You click on that every Monday morning to see what's being expected of you that week. There's a district introduction. It's kind of, kind of boring, but it gives you a breakdown of the way the test is set up. There is the syllabus. I would definitely click on the syllabus, which I'm going to do right there, as you can see. You have information about the instructor, you have the course scope, the course outlines for both semester one and semester two, and of course the all-important grading scale as you can see there. I'll discuss how grades are done, but primarily grades are done by uh, assignments that are given each week. I'll click back here and we'll go over to the next topic, which are resources. There aren't a lot of resources and that are separate. As you can see, if you look further down on your screen, you'll see a number of resources there already built into the course itself. The test dates, very important. Let me click on the test dates here. The test dates, as you can see, the first one is in November, the 4th to the 8th for juniors and seniors only. Then there's one in March, another one in April, and then the following summer. Let me get out of this and click back here. As you can also see, there is some information here. There's a multiplication table if you need it. There are key facts and suggestions for uh, each of the topics in the proficiency test. Definitely worthwhile to look through to see which ones you understand and which ones you have questions about. And then there are released versions of the uh, 2005 and 2009 tests. Those are the last two tests that were released to the public. And lots and lots and lots and lots of practice. Let me go ahead and move this on up. And after you see all these practice tests, and these tests, by the way, have keys that go with them, you can check your work to see how you're doing, and then therefore you'll know what to ask questions about. There's a breakdown for algebra and functions practice. There's a data analysis practice. There's a geometry practice. There's a measurement practice, numbers and operations, and then probability statistics and more data analysis. And then on top of that, there's another 150 problem review with answers to help you get ready for that proficiency test. And then, as you can see, there are 15, count them, 15 different videos to help you uh, prepare for the proficiency test. And these videos are broken down by topic, and you can see which ones you might need to work on based on your previous test scores. I'm going to bring this down a little bit further. It's week one. As you can see, week one, this is an orientation quiz. You're to complete this. This is one question. That won't take very long. Week two, there's a syllabus quiz. Now remember the syllabus from above. You click on that and you should be able to have all the information you need to answer the questions on the syllabus quiz. There is a review worksheet. This is the first worksheet that you'll have. Let's talk about this now. The review worksheet, uh, which you'll get from clicking here and opening, as you can see, has a bunch of problems that you will need to practice. They're proficiency types of problems. And those types of problems are the types of problems that you will see on the, uh, on the proficiency test. Um, if I can click out of here, there we go. Let's click right back out of here. And then you will be able to work that worksheet out. I would print it out, work that worksheet out, and then you will go to here and you will click on this and you will put your answers in in the appropriate spots. As you can see, it's multiple choice. It will be graded immediately for you. Now these assignments, these weekly assignments, are anywhere from about 10 to 20 problems. They won't take you very long. You are to work on these problems, enter them in, see how you've done, and then comes the most important part of the math applications or fundamental math concepts class, and that is the face-to-face -face time that you'll have with your instructor. With Mr. Barnett, that face-to-face -face time will happen in the math lab from 11 to 12, and with Mr. Turner, that face-to-face -face time will happen in the math lab from 3 to 4. 
It's during that time that the student will be allowed to ask questions about the problems that they had trouble with and to get their questions cleared up. And if there's time available, they'll be able to get onto a computer and redo their assignment. Every assignment that uh, you'll have each week can be done more than one time. It can be done several times. So if you struggle the first time or the first couple of times, you'll have an opportunity to ask questions about the problems that you are struggling with and then get those questions answered and then be able to answer problems appropriately in the answer sheet part. And we're going to do that each week. You can also see that this goes, uh, there's some laws, these are uh, Mr. Barnett's laws to help uh, pre uh, prepare a student for the proficiency test and then there's the review worksheets each week until we get to that first test. Remember it is extremely important that you work the problems out prior to the face-to-face -face class. If you come in and you have not worked on the problems, despite the fact that the teacher is going to be going over questions, it won't have the same meaning and you're going to struggle with it. So be sure to work them ahead of time and have your questions ready. It will mean a lot more to you. It will make much more sense. And then of course, anytime you have a question of any, any type, be sure to ask the instructor as the instructors will come around uh, in the morning between 8 and 11 and in the afternoon between 12 and 3, the, uh, the instructors will come around and check in with you to see if you have any concerns. We're going to have a great year, we're going to get ready for that test and we're going to uh, get it out of the way and knock it out and, and do well and have one less thing for you to worry about as you work your way towards graduation. Good luck now.